control. Now, let's talk to somebody who I may not agree with on politics. I don't really know because I haven't talked to him, but I know he's working at ACORN, and I think that's just the left group. But I do agree with the man on principle, current ACORN member Michael McRae. He was a member of ACORN's national board, like the woman I spoke to on Friday on this program. He, like them, was pushed off the board after they all started asking questions. Mr. McRae, how are you, sir? I'm doing well, Glenn. Good. Now, like, do I? Like you just, it's not ahead. about right and wrong. It's about, I mean, left and right, it is about right and wrong. And on that, sir, I agree with you. Okay. Now tell me where I've gotten it wrong, because I don't see this really at all about politics. What's going on in ACORN right now is just about money. Well, what I would say about that, Glenn, is that really what you need to look at in terms of ACORN is governance. I mean, what we have is an organization, a venerable organization that had a very beautiful mission and a lot of committed supporters. What's happened over time, though, is that there are certain um, leaders and senior staff members that have kind of, for the most part, hijacked the organization, and they're using it for their own personal um, gains. Can you tell me about Dale Rathke and uh, his brother? Well, um, Dale Rathke, Rathke is the founder of, um, I mean, Wade Rathke is the founder of the organization, and he's an incredible organizer. And he, it, it was his vision that allowed ACORN to progress to kind of where it is today. Unfortunately, with, you know, a, you know, absolute power comes some corruption. And the board members found out uh, about eight, eight or nine months ago that there had been a million-dollar embezzlement by his brother. Now, what the board did at that point in time was that when, once the full board found out about it, you know, they immediately moved to terminate Wade and Dale, and then they tried to put in place the young ladies that, um, that you interviewed on Friday, Karen and Marcel, mm -hmm. in order to try to set the record straight and get to the bottom of what happened to the money. Okay. Um, there, but there hasn't been any prosecutions. There hasn't really been. Nobody's, nobody's really investigated this million dollar, this missing million dollars. Nobody's paid for this, um, criminally speaking. Uh, that, that is correct, Lynn. And, and don't you find it very interesting that even when the, after word of a million dollar embezzlement came out, and the fact that board members and executive committee members covered up the embezzlement, that the only people that have been punished were the people that were trying to get to the bottom of where the money go. Okay. Doesn't oh. that seem strange? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Um, and that's why, you know, I was told on Friday by the, the two amazing women that were here, I was told on Friday, Glenn, stop looking at this as politics. It's not politics. It's about money. Can you tell me, because uh, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to find... I'm trying to find the beating heart of this, uh, this snake. This is like Hydra. You can cut acorn off, but it just sprouts another head. There are all kinds of affiliated uh, organizations. Can you tell me at all what CCI is? Well, I'm glad you asked that, Glenn. Essentially, CCI, Citizens Consulting, Inc., is basically the financial nerve center for, the, for acorn and all its entities. So if you really want to try to follow the money, that's why we requested a, a forensic examination and a financial audit of CCI. Okay. CCI. Can you put that back up on the screen, please? CCI shows one. What a surprise. It's in New Orleans. There's no corruption down there. Um, it, it shows one address. This is the address that has that all of the other um, uh, ACORN entities they all list this as their address. So if you are, correct me if I'm wrong here, Michael, but if you're in one of these organizations and you apply for federal dollars or any kind of dollars, the money goes there. Well, Glenn, that, that, I'm glad you mentioned that. I mean, that, that's the main problem. As a matter of fact, the money goes there first. So even if you had a local chapter of ACORN that wanted to say, you know, some good philanthropist wanted to give a, write a local grant, the local ACORN chapter can't get the grant. Everything winds up being funneled through national, and all of the monies come are dispersed from CCI. I, now, CCI says that they pay a small administrative fee, uh -huh. but the problem is, is without an audit, you know, we don't know if CCI gets 1%, 50%, 90%. We don't know. And that's what Karen Inman and uh, Marcel Reed were trying to, get, trying to get their hands on. I tell you, America, uh, my gut tells me we are somewhere on the path i don't know where but we are somewhere on the path of something very dark and sinister here um, i don't know who's involved um, but i think we're on the we're on the path of something and um, you you pray for people like uh, uh, michael and the people who are still in this organization who
who say it's been hijacked and it was a good organization just taken awry for, for money. You pray for these people because I, I honestly fear for their safety. Michael, we will talk to you again, sir. Thank you so much. Let me go to a...